Good evening, Stunners. It's Marcus. All right. As I promised, I'm going to show my workflow, my way of um, of fixing the background in an image that didn't bokeh the way I wanted it to or blur the way I wanted it to or show me the depth of feel the way I wanted it to, whichever term is more comfortable for you. <laughs> um, however, um, I my way is more in the line of, you know, separating layers and then blurring the background in a uh, masking way, I mean, in a gradient masking way. So I'm going to go ahead and give you, show you how I do that. Again, this is my way of doing it. This works for my workflow. It's not necessarily going to work for everybody's workflow. If you is there, if there's another way you like to do it, by all means. I've noticed in the comment section, there is another image that somebody cloned um, the items out, whether it was a truck, a car, and some debris in the background. And I've also, there's another person who mentioned that there's many ways of doing this. They are correct. There are many ways of doing it. Everybody has their own way. For, um, Photoshop, it's a big package. It has many things you can do with it. I the many treasures that um that's hidden treasures that I have not discovered yet. So again, this is my workflow. This is what I do. So without further ado. All right, Stunners, here we go. First thing is this is the image that belongs to the young lady from the Stunners group. And don't necessarily want to say her name. I'm not sure if that is okay or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave her name out of it. Anyway, um, this is the image and it's a JPEG. So I'm kind of limited on what I can do with it. But from what I'm going to do, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter. So pretty much I'm going to break this down to layers as in I'm going to separate her from the background. And then I'm going to blur the background in a gradient format. But I'm going to leave a, another copy of the background, which will um bring back in the clarity that we have already in the picture but let's do some cleaning up first um i noticed that there's just white piece of paper here Look like somebody uh either it could have been a rock or well it's kind of a funny shaped rock but <laughs> however it still look like it's just it shouldn't be there i mean um so what i like to do with this is use the <clears throat> the healing brush I want to show you which one I'm actually using. I'm using the healing brush tool, not the spot healing tool. It's not a bad tool. I like that tool too, but this tool here will allow us to use other parts of the um the background in that area. So for example, by me selecting I'm hitting all holding down the alt key and selecting this item here, or selecting in this area, and then going over this will kind of blend it in a little bit better. Then it just sitting, let's pick another location like that. All right, so now we have what don't look, it doesn't look like everything else. So that's that side. But as you can see, this glass is a reflection. It's a ref, it's not a see-through glass. This is actually a mirror type glass. So it's actually reflecting it over here as well. So we got to go up under her arm, which we want to stay kind of like in the same vicinity she's in, and then lightly adjust for that as well so there we have removed some debris somebody did mention this in the comments about removing that from the um image so there we have it it's no longer distracting her outfit again i'm not one for polka dots though so when i try to tell my clients you know try to focus try to aim for more solid colors but hey what are, what are they if they like it they like it so let's move on. Let's go ahead and move on to my next thing. So let's first go ahead and make a copy of this image here. So we're going to, this layer, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and make a copy. And we can actually go ahead and remove the, um, let's take off the eye. That's the, so we don't see it no more. All right. And then with this copy, this is where we're going to start doing our cutting and pretty much cutting out her from the image. But I'm going to make a copy of her, not necessarily remove her from the um background but i'm gonna make a copy of her you could do that that could probably work for you but the way i for me it doesn't i guess i don't want to do that because i'm not sure if it's going to leave any gaps or anything like that in case i decide i want to do something else with the background and blah 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 you know 
So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select her. Uh, let's go ahead and using the brackets, the right bracket to increase the size of the, um, the brush. Let's go ahead and select her. And we're going to her arm, so let's reduce a little. All right. Grab the watch best as we can. Now, as you notice, the um under her arm here was selected. So let's go ahead and hold down the Alt key so we can undo that. And there we have it. All right, so go back to the plus and let's get the edge as best as we can. So again, this is not my photo, so I'm actually just doing this quickly as possible. We don't want to spend all day on it, but just to give you an understanding of what I'm doing or what I do is, like I said, for my workflow, which works for me. And, it's, and a lot of my customers has, has liked what I've done with their image if I was able to save their image. So we move down here to the bottom, make sure everything is selected, outstanding. So now from this point, we're going to go ahead and do the refined edge. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with the fine edge, I hope. I'm not 100% sure on that. So let's go ahead and increase that a little bit. And contrast, I wanted about 10 to 11. So we'll get right there. So go in here and let's increase the brush a little bit more. Right here. And grab around the hair. Okay, I don't like that, but I can leave it because one, I'm not trying to do it. I'm not doing a perfect job here. I'm just giving an example of what I do, Get as much as the hair as possible, and also I want to get this um her, her bracelet here in this area. So let's get that to. That looks good to me. So from here, this is where we're going to go ahead and start doing our separating of layers. So as you know, since I masked this, once I um decaminate the colors, it's going to ask me, do I want it in a um, new lower, excuse me, new, <laughs> new layer with layer mask, or does one new layer? Well, in my case, I want a new layer. So let's select that and then hit OK. So if you look over here in the layers group, now we have the new layer with just the subject and if I remove the if I take the aisle for that one you can see the image is still there with the subject along with the background okay so from that point now we're just going to go focus on we're going to take off the eye for the subject alone and we're going to go back to this layer again so now that we done removed her from the layer let's go up here to filter and we want to go to blur not gosh not gaussian blur but lens blur so so moving over to the um lens blur we're going to take this and we're going to i've already done this before and these pretty much my settings I use this same blur every single time for the most part so it's around 55 61 97 that's my settings that's how I leave it I don't touch the brightness I leave threshold as it is and I don't touch any noise um, I leave it as uniform and from that point it's for me is okay so from there I click okay so now we want to go into this layer here. We want to um, change this layer. We're going to we want to make this a uh, um, masking layer. I mean, excuse me. Uh, yes, yeah, a masking layer. I guess you could say. Um, but we want to we want to um, bring it in with a gradient tool. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and do a alt ma um, excuse me alt mask layer, which will do that and make it disappear. Um, we could use the background. But like I said, I don't like playing with the background. So let's go ahead and make another copy of the background and turn that off. 
and let's name this um, clear background. And so we grab the the masking tool, I mean the mask, and we come over here to the gradient tool. Now with the gradient tool, we want black and white. We want black, um, you know, going into white, but we want to reverse it. So we want it as like this. So you know, as white reveals, how, um, blacks black conceals. I think it is right. Yeah. So we start underneath her. Um, we we want to get somewhere near her underarm because we want the truck and everything behind her to pretty much blur. So in this case, when you see this, you're going to see the whole image blur. But right now, that's just for now. So bear with me. So as we pull down, we want to go into a little bit more I mean, less than a 30 degree, I mean, a 45 degree angle. And boom. Hmm, do I like that? No, not really, because it went too far with the blur. So let's go just a little bit more and not as far, but same angle. And there we go. I like that. Okay, that's that can stay where it is. So now let's bring in. Now, if I remove this, as you can see, it's just it's going to be clear. So we don't want because, like we said, black conceals, right? Yeah, black conceals, white reveals. Anyway, so we want the background to stay in. That gives us the um the clarity of it being closer to her closer to her plane of where she's located in the image. So now we go back and bring in the model. And for me, this usually would be pretty much where I would probably stop. Um, we could continue. I mean, I could do other things to it, you know, try to blend in and get some of this um, extra stuff here out of her, where around her head, the halo around her head. But most most of my clients like that halo. They they say, ooh, it really it makes it makes it look glamorous. So they like the glamour look. The um, the background is blurred out. It it makes her stand out more. The ground um, the foreground up the front of us. I mean the the reflection is not blurred, but that's fine because it's on the mirror right beside her. That's the plane that she's on. So at this point, I mean we're pretty much done. And this is my work. This is what I do in my workflow. So if I need to do this, I actually created a, um, an action to do this automatically for me. It'll separate. Um, once I, it'll have me, of course, um, select the object, and then it'll do everything else for me. And then, I mean, it was just a way of trying to speed up my process. Anyway, so if anybody have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section. Um, please subscribe. Also. If um, you have anything you want to, um, if you, if anybody else have any questions they want to ask, or have any problems you want um, that you feel like you want to share with me and see if I can help you with it, I don't mind. I love researching on um, Photoshop. I love photo, I love photography. Again, this is Market Sport Photography, and I'm glad to be a stunner. So let's all learn together and keep going forward. Thank you for watching.